guys, Cody Schwab here, and this is just going to be a quick video about should you paint the sides of your painting. Um, I'm going to show you what I learned and what I do um, now as opposed to what I used to do. So, on a, usually on a most paintings, you can see actually this little stack right here. Um, what I would do is I would just paint the painting without regards to the sides of the canvas. And then I would go back and paint it black later, kind of like what I'm doing here because this painting was actually... Um, another painting, this monochrome, the monochromatic dream is actually a newer painting that I did over an old painting that I didn't like. Um, and you can see that I didn't paint the sides before. So because of that, I have to paint the sides now. So here's what I do. Um, what I've learned is that it's actually easiest just to paint the sides at the very beginning of your painting. So you just, what I do a lot of times now is what whatever the base color of the background is, um, I will just paint the painting that color already, right? So if, um, if I do gray or if I do, you know, like that gray or if I do um, like this one, because um, I, just, I just shot another video, but um, like I took the yellow and took it down the sides. Um, so, oh, and this one, okay? So this is one of my Pollock style. You can see that I took that tan all the way down the sides of the painting. So I didn't used to paint the sides, I just painted the, the, the front and then painted the sides black. And I still do that. But now what I'll try to do is if I'm doing a base color, um, I will try to carry that color down. Now if it's a single solid color, it's a lot easier than if you're blending a color on top and then have to paint the sides afterwards. Because if you're painting on an already, prime, like a canvas that's already put together instead of just the canvas lying on the ground, uh, it's a little different. So sometimes I will carry the painting around the sides and just have the, the painting congruent, kind of like, uh, well, this one. Um, I have others. I just don't have any out here. Um, the rest of them have um, either white or black sides, depending on the painting. Um, so if I can carry the painting across the sides, I'll just carry the colors or the design around it. Okay. Um, trying to see if I had another one but I think I put them all I put them all away so all of these okay so like this one um, timeless you can see that I took that the turquoise color that I created here any of the excess paint that dripped over the side I actually just took my finger and kind of rubbed it along the sides of the painting so the sides of the painting are actually the same color as the painting itself okay so I just carried that color over uh, for these, I painted it black because there was some color, but I, I didn't like the color that spilled over, so I went over it in black. But it is easier to, to take the color that's already on the, the painting and carry it onto the sides and fill the sides in. And then if you don't like it later, then you can paint the sides a solid color. So normally what I'll do now is if I'm doing a base coat of one color, I'll just carry it around the whole canvas. If I'm doing multiple colors or a design, if I can carry the design over or if paint, if there's excess paint, I'll take that paint and I'll paint the sides. Now, if I don't like it, then I'll go over it in black. Um, and then any of the other paintings where I didn't do a color on the sides um, and the color is dripping over, now I paint black or white depending on the piece. So if it's predominantly white, like this piece up here and this one, if they're already mostly white, then I just leave it white. But for these ones like this gray one, the design didn't go over the side, so I painted it black. Um, that one I painted black because it was a black, black background anyway, so the whole thing is black. And then this one, like I said, was not, so now I have to paint the sides. So you can see that I'm actually doing that now. So when you paint the sides, um, you just, literally you can use whatever paint you want. Um, you can just use acrylic paint. You can even use a, an artist, um, like a, a artist loft kind of paint. Cause you're really just trying to complete the painting, I suppose. Um, and then when you actually paint the actual painting, literally I'll just prop it up. You can put it on the wall, like on nails or something. And I'll just literally go to where the, the painting stops and I'll just bring it down and then I'll just keep doing that. Now it's a tedious process, but I've learned that it's actually better to just kind of take your time, make it look good because if you try to rush it, um, what happens is, oh, sorry. Um, I'm trying to do this with two hands. What tends to happen is that the paint will bleed over the, the actual edge of the painting and then you're stuck with having to wash it off and start over. So take your time, 
do simple strokes. And then um, make sure that when you paint the edges, you bring a little bit of the paint down the, the actual bottom edge. And this is so that when they hang their painting, uh, there's no white showing if, if you're trying to cover the whole thing black. So whatever your color is, I generally use black to fill it in because black just kind of, black just gives it like a nice dimension, I think. It just makes it look like 3D almost. Um, so that's why I use it. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. So what I would recommend for your paintings is, oh, here we go. Okay, so like this was a metallic green and I carried it all the way around the edges. And then this piece, um, you can see that I had the, the sides painted black and then I went over this painting. This was a different painting that I went over. Um, and so you can see that the paint is bleeding over. So I probably will have to, I'll probably have to paint it black again. Um, but at least there's already the color there so I don't have to do as much work in, in trying to cover it up. Um, but that's it, yeah. So it really just depends on the piece. If you're doing a single solid color all like as your base coat, I would recommend just doing it all the way down the sides. If you're doing something like this gray one where it's you know a design on top and it doesn't really go over the sides, you're gonna have to do a solid color or whatever you want. Um, and then if you have excess color for whatever you're doing, just take that color and just bring it, just use that excess paint around the sides. And if it turns out good, then keep it. If you don't like it, then you can always go over it in black later on. Um, so that's just what I recommend. That's how I do it. That's how I basically fill the sides of my paintings. You can do it however you want. That's just, again, how I do it. Um, that's it for this video. If, you're like, if you like this video, please like, rate, share, subscribe, check out my other videos, and be sure to stop by my site and social medias, and uh, I'll see you guys in another video.